I thought I'd do a quick video on this frame jig I put together for my 68 Cornet RT 440. Um, I bought it, it was in a dirt floor shed since 1972. Uh, they drug it out of there and it ripped the whole front end, the whole um, firewall bent out. There was nothing supporting this car whatsoever and sunk six inches into the dirt. Um, so anyway, what I did was I found a donor uh, 1968 Charger. Um, they had good uh, gauge hole locations for all of the points that you need to pick up to get a good frame jig built for these cars. I think 6870 is the same. Uh, here's the datum drawing that you'll find. This is uh, 69 to 70, but 68 is very similar. There's a couple small dimensional changes, but very minor. Um, so what I did was I, I made up these plates here and then did nothing more than take a uh, I took a 7 8 bolt the gauge holes are closer to an inch but I wanted a little XY um, tolerance because I've been told that the AMD metal the stampings aren't perfect they're close but they're not perfect so what I did was I took these plates and I put them up into the frame of the core of the charger and I tacked them to the frame every one of them the two fronts that go on to the front frame rails the two rear frame rail gauge holes, the torsion bar cross member gauge holes, and then the uh, rear frame rail gauge holes. Um, I couldn't use the rear um, perches yet. I'm going to get those up in there based on uh, this body. So the drawing that you find online gives you all of your datums. So you, you establish a datum line, and that's what I did here. I welded all my vertical inch and a half square tubes onto my frame jig. I shot a laser, and then I established a level line. Each one of these has a level line struck onto the bottom of it, every one of them. And then that's your datum. So this this frame doesn't necessarily have to be perfectly square and and, uh, and true within itself because you're gonna establish a datum um, based off your laser. So once you got your datum set, then I just went ahead and I measured up to the bottom of the uh, well actually to the top of the inch and a half square tubing, and this dimension on both the two front frame rails matches that dimension perfectly within a sixteenth of an inch and the same goes for every one of these they can be a, an inch or two higher or lower as long as they're all relative to each other off of the datum line so then what I did was I lifted the frame this entire jig frame up to the bottom of the body that these plates and pins were uh, welded onto the charger and then I tacked these um, vertical tubes to the plates. Then I cut the plates free from the charger and that established all of my X, Y locations. And again, the Z's were set up off of the datum. I didn't trust the body that I had to give me good Z dimensions. So I used uh, you know, the laser to set that up. And then in addition, I have a, um, a center line struck down the center of my jig and then a string line but every one of these tubes has a center line marked and then I have a string line that I pulled down the center of the um, of the frame jig and that's perfectly centered off of each one of my pins all the way through the jig then I took plumb bobs and this is how I get the body pretty square within a sixteenth of an inch you got gauge holes up inside of your um, roof rails and you can find a pretty good center off of your roof rails, front and back. And then you drop your plumb, bob, plumb bobs down to pick up on that line. And that gets your body square to your frame jig. Then with that, um, then it's a matter of getting a level off of the bottom of your rockers. And then now... With that, I also put a perpendicular line to the center line um, 
which is this line here. And what I do is I just clamp a, a straight edge across the face of this line, and then I can drop my tape measure on the front edge of that, and that's my perpendicular line, and I can measure back to my perches and whatnot to verify that um, those are all square and true to the body. Um, beyond that, I just bought some casters I had uh, from a few years ago. I had some leveling feet laying around and welded some tubes onto the side, and that gets me level. Um, you know, I can pick this up and I can uh, move it around. I can make it unlevel if I want, and then it's just nothing more than setting up my laser again and then jacking up my jack screws until my laser picks up all of my lines and all my tubes again. I can show. So if I was to go down through the body right now, every one of these would be true within, within the width of the line. And then I can also set it up to where I'm shooting straight down the body. And then I can use my tape measure to take some dimensions, cross car, fore aft, and and etc. So, so that's it. I thought I would just share this uh, for anybody that was thinking about making a frame jig. I certainly see the benefit in having a frame jig. Um, and when you got a car in this condition, uh, you know I have no rear frame rails to go off of whatsoever. They were completely gone. Front frame rails were completely gone. Rockers were completely gone. So um, this drawing gives you dimensions um, for your rockers. So you can verify your width in this car. It's 56 and 9 sixteenths. And that's to the bottom of the rocker. Um, once, once I had these true to each other and then I had the body square to the rockers, then I knew I was good uh, lengthwise. So, and then again, I got all my datum set up. Everything's true and square within 16th of an inch. I think the tolerance on this car is plus or minus an eighth for a quarter inch total tolerance. And I've seen that uh, quite a bit in measuring that I've been doing um, to verify, you know, as I go along that nothing's out of square. I'll just go around real quick and show each one of the points. I'm purposely off of that right now, off that torsion crossbar. I got it set up three quarters of an inch um, off of the face of that washer on purpose. And then for now, I just simply am resting on the rear um, frame rails because I have nothing else really to go off of. The whole back of this car is just completely shot. And what I'll end up doing is building the whole bottom of the rear section on the frame jig and bringing it up and marrying it to the body. I'll cut the wheel wells loose on both sides and then uh, the tail panel will remain, all the gutters, they'll need a little work, but those will remain intact. Um, I'm sorry, the tail panel and the um, rear panel, those will be uh, left intact. Very helpful to have a hoist when you're trying to work this process out. Hoist comes in very handy.